the rise and fall of death row records and what you can learn today. The rise of death row records marked a significant chapter in the history of hip hop music characterized by its groundbreaking sound, influential artists and controversial founder Marion Shug Knight. Here's an overview of the key factors that contributed to the rise and ultimate fall of death row records. The founding and vision. Death row records was founded in 1991 by Marion Shug Knight and Andre Dr. Dre Young. Two influential figures in the hip hop industry with Knight's business acumen and street wisdom and Dr. Dre's musical talent, the label was established with a vision to create a new sound and elevate West Coast hip hop to national and international prominent death row records. The most talented and influential artists in the genre including Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Tupac Shakur and the Dog Pound. These artists released a series of iconic albums including under the death row label such as Dr. Dre's The Chronicle and Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style which helped define the West Coast gangster rap sound in the 90s. Innovative production and sound, Dr. Dre's production style and musical innovation played a central role in death row's success. With a significant G-funk sound characterized by smooth melodies deep bass lines and a catchy hooks, Dre created a distinct sonic identity that resonated with audiences and set Death Row apart from other labels. Cultural impact and controversies. Death Row records became synonymous with the gangster rap movement in the 90s, which explored themes of urban life, street violence, and social injustice. The label's music and artists sparked controversy and debate challenges societal norms and pushing the boundaries of artistic expression, strategic partnerships and distribution. Death Row Record forged strategic partnerships with major distributors including Interscope Records and Priority Records, which help amplify its reach and distribution capabilities. This allowed Death Row Music to reach a wider audience and achieve commercial success on a global scale. Business savvy and intimidation. Suge Knight's reputation for business savvy and intimidation tactics also played a role in Death Row's Knight's strong arm tactics and confrontational approach earned him a fearsome reputation in the industry, which while controversial, also commanded respect and loyalty from artists and associates. Overall, the rise of Death Row Record represented a convergence of talent, innovation, at the same time controversy that left an indelible mark on the hip hop's landscape. While the label's legacy is not without controversies and challenges, its impacts on the genre and pop popular culture remains undeniable, solidifying its place in the, in the music industry. As well as success, there were significant turning points we saw the demise of Death Row Records, which we saw, a, which witnessed a toxic gang culture, which was not good to mix with business, both potentially responsible for the departure of Dr. Dre and then inevitably the death of Tupac Shakur. Tupac was not happy at Death Row Records and prior to his death was looking to set up his own label, Machiavelli Records, with the goals to collaborate with East Coast rappers such as Nas. In addition to Tupac's problems, Suge Knight's alleged cheating of Tupac Shakur and circumstances surrounding Tupac's shooting by Orlando Adnison are events shrouded in speculation, rumor, and controversy. It's essential to approach these events with caution and recognize that the full truth may never be fully known. Let's discuss what we do know and the overall based on the widely discussed theories and accounts surrounding these incidents. Shug Knight's alleged cheating of Tupac Shakur, financial ma manipulation. There are allegations that Shug Knight, as the CEO of Death Row Records, engaged in financial manipulation and mismanagement, ultimately cheating Tupac out of, of a significant portion of his potential earnings. This manipulation may have included unfair contract terms, underreported sales figures, and unfulfilled financial promises. Control and influence. Some speculate that Suge Knight exerted ex excessive control and influence over Tupac's career, using his power within the music industry to dictate Tupac's actions and decisions. This control may have exceeded, extended to Tupac's financial affairs 
allowing Shug Knight to exploit the rapper's success for personal gain, the shooting of Tupac Shakur, the shooting of Tupac by Orlando Anderson. On the night of September 7th, 1996, Tupac was shot multiple times in a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas. He was traveling in a car with Death Row Records founder, Shug Knight. After attending a boxing match at the MGN Grand Hotel, suspected involvements of Orlando Anderson. Following the shooting, speculation arose regarding the involvement of Orlando Anderson, a member of the Southside Crips gang. Orlando was reportedly involved in a physical altercation with Tupac earlier in the MGM Grand Hotel. Motives and allegations. While the exact motives behind Tupac's shootings remain unclear, theories suggest that it could have been linked to various factors, including gang-related tensions, personal disputes or retaliation for prior altercations. Some sources claim that the altercation between Tupac and Orlando provided a motive for the shooting, although definitive evidence linking Orlando to the crime remains elusive. It's important to note that these events surrounded by conflicting accounts, theories and speculations. The true extent of Shug Knight's alleged teaching of and, and the circumstances surrounding Tupac's shooting remain subject to de of debate and controversy within the hip-hop community and beyond. Further to the demise of Death Row Records. The demise of Death Row Records, the timeline was roughly after the fatal shooting and when Shug Knight was sent to prison. Death Row Records, once a powerhouse in the hip-hop industry, was complex and multifaceted process influenced by a combination of legal troubles, financial mismanagement, internal conflicts and shifts in the music industry landscape. Here's an overview of some of the factors that contributed to the landfall of Death Row Records, legal trouble and criminal allegations. Co-founder Marian Shug Knight faced numerous legal challenges, including allegations of racketeering, assault, and conspiracy. These legal troubles not only tarnished the reputation of Death Row Records but also drained the label's financial resources in legal fees and settlements. Financial mismanagement. Death Row Records reportedly suffered from financial mismanagement, allegation of embezzlements. There were accusations label executives including Shug Knight misappropriated the funds and engaged in account irregularities leading to financial instability and debt. Departure of key artists was also another decline. Following the decline of Death Row Records, prominent and legal troubles surround the label may many of its key artists, including Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, departed for other record labels. The loss of these influential artists weakened Death Row's rooster and market position. In addition to the death of Tupac, internal conflicts and power struggles, internal conflicts and power struggles within Death Row Records contributed to its demise. Disputes between artists, executives and associates reportedly created a toxic work environment and hindered the label's ability to operate effectively. Changes in the music industry landscape. The music industry underwent significant changes during the late 90s and early 2000s, including the rise of digital music distribution, declining album sales and shifting consumer preferences. Death Row Records struggled to adapt to these changes and maintain its relevance in the rapid evolving industry, bankruptcy and acquisition. Death Row Records filed for bankruptcy in 2006 following mounting debts and legal challenges. Subsequently, the labels Assets were auctioned off and it was acquired by other entities. The acquisition marked the end of Death Row Records as an independent label and signaled the conclusion of its tumultuous journey in the music industry. Overall, the demise of Death Row Records serves as a cautionary tale about the pitfalls of success, unchecked power and volatile nature of the music business. While the label's legacy continues to influence hip-hop culture, it stands for highlights the importance of ethical leadership, financial responsibility and adaptability in sustaining long-term success in the music industry. Although the label was rescued from bankruptcy by Snoop Dogg, it is unlikely to see the success that it once when it thrived back in the 90s. It is more a sentimental and a pinnacle point of Snoop Dogg's career. What's your thought guys? Can Death Row make a come up under Snoop Dogg's management? 
let us know your thoughts in the comment section below if you like this video i'd really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button for more videos and i'll see you in the next one